who knocks out everybody and no one can whoop him. Damn, buddies! This is Pedro. And I'm a photographer. He's a photographer. And I go by White Boy on Instagram. Stick around. What's up everybody? Uh, Pedro and I are now walking through the streets of Lisbon. We're looking for a good spot to take a picture uh, on. And uh, I was just wondering if like, if someone comes up to you and he's asking to do a picture with you, how does that usually work? Do you also walk around with them and then like you, you look for good places or how do you do yeah, it? Yeah, normally I just uh, figure out an outfit that I like and I go to the streets and I just found new places. Basically, throughout the weeks I'm going alone in the streets and uh, somehow finding new places. And uh, when I have a photo shoot, I just try to go to all of them. And, yeah, shoot, basically is that. And I do this every week. How many times do you do it? Uh, sometimes five times a week, but normally it's like two times a week. Yeah, this is Moradia. It's like the old neighbors of Lisbon. It's always like this. In 1755, the Great Lisbon earthquake hit the city. In combination with subsequent fires and a tsunami, the earthquake almost totally destroyed Lisbon. After rebuilding the city, Lisbon stick to the traditional design explaining the current street shape. I hate walking the stairs. How do you like living in, in Lisbon? Yeah, I'm loving this. Like, uh, you have so much stuff to do. Like, if you compare it to where I've come from, that only you have, only have stuff to do in Algarve in the summer, basically. Right. For me, that's my opinion. But here, I found new stuff every day, new streets. It's just like search, search, and you found it. Every day you found something. Yeah. Yeah, I love the city. It looks so beautiful. It's different from what I've visited in Europe. Oh man. Okay, we just got to our first place. It's called Casa do Alentejo. And um, White's gonna take some pictures. And we're gonna walk around, show you the thing. And yeah, let's go. Alentejo is a region to the south of Lisbon. It basically means behind the Tejo, which is the river that goes through Lisbon. Every region in Portugal has sort of a region house in Lisbon. This is Casa do Alentejo the house for the region of Alentejo. You see the old man sitting on the left side of the room? Pedro thought. I've been doing a lot of uh, street and urban style photography and lately, like maybe last year, I started enjoying more like portraiture, putting people into the urban environment. So now I basically, I just search like nice people. They don't need to be models. I just need to like their style. Uh, yeah, and I... They don't, he's basically saying you don't need to be good looking. That's why he's with me. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's the thing, you don't need to be handsome or something like that, you just need to have the, the right attitude and the right style that I enjoy, or I like. And yeah, I talk with you and yeah, we go to the streets, I have some spots that I know that will fit very well with your outfit or your, your look. 
and yeah, we do it. Uh, so this used to be my old school, Arku. Here, here and there, it was like parts of the school. But it was an old palace, it was falling apart completely, so we have to move to another place. A little bit on the outskirts of Lisbon. And yeah, it's a modern school now. So this was the photography school, right? Yeah, it's art school, it's not just photography, but it's where I study, where I still study. Right, and you studied there for one year and then they moved? Yeah, that's true. And it's a 40-something years old school, so it's quite old. So they have a lot of knowledge to teach you, right? For sure. Do you yes. enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This year especially. First year I was thinking, mm -mm, not learning that much, but this year I'm definitely enjoying. That's cool, man. <laughs> Alright, let's see how the apparently best photographer of Lisbon manages to take a photo of the apparently best vlogger of Lisbon. All we need is the best location. Oh man. So we also have a lot of street art shit, so <laughs> this is the place. This is how you get ready for an Instagram picture. So I'm just gonna pretend to talk and like talk and like talk and say something. And I'm not even saying something. Oh, thanks, bro. <clears throat> so what it, what inspired you to to start doing photos? Okay, like First of all, I started like four years ago maybe, while I was surfing a lot. I had the GoPro. Where were you surfing? In Algarve, in South Portugal. I was like surfing every day basically, like almost. And uh, yeah, I, had a, I started an Instagram account and I started posting videos and pictures and shit like that. And my friends started enjoying it. Uh, after I started doing more photography and I started like enjoying it, and people keep pushing through to, for me. And yeah, I found out that I have like quite a good eye and now I'm doing, I'm trying to do a living of this. You heard it. He's a cool guy with a dream. Kinda like me. So definitely check him out. Link to his Instagram is gonna be in the description. He makes sick photos. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep walking this thing, kid. Aloha. Aloha, motherfucker. Oh, my God.